I thought that I'd do a quantum jump to a universe where I could see my angels. Now, there are an infinity of universes, and all things are possible in one of those universes. So that part was simple. And as it was the mental universe that I was visiting, I was utilizing the first principle of Hermes, that of mentalism, where we're told that the universe is mental. The way to touch the varieties of universes is through mental means. And I chose a quantum jump to manifest my desire to view a variety of angels in the greater universe or multiverse, as some scientists would call it. And one of those limitless places was a universe where angels were visible. And so I soon found myself in a duplicate universe with my twin self, or doppelganger, in a doppelganger world, a twin world, with only one exception from this one. I had the ability to see not only my angels, but others as well. I found myself seated in my living room, where I actually was, and there in front of me, smiling, was an angel, my angel. My body was in deep meditation, but my mind was flowing in another universe through the mystery of mental imagery and imagination. I say my angel, and I, I often say hello to her, but she usually just smiles and nods. I say she, but I have no knowledge as to whether my angel is male, female, or even has a gender. I, I believe that angels have no gender. They don't reproduce, they don't require gender. But I will refer to her as a she. May I know your name, I asked. In the universe I jumped into, angels were visible, and I have to say it was confusing. Wherever I looked, I saw angels. Even my dog, a mini schnauzer named Baby, had his own little dog angel hovering near him. I walked along the street, and everyone had an accompanying angel that they occasionally spoke with. I shortly found out that every angel on the planet knew everything that happened to every other angel. What my angel knew, every other angel knew as well. No wars here. Not when every angel became aware immediately of the thought of war. In my angelic world, there were no religions as we know them either. Everyone was aware of their celestial guardians, just as everyone was aware of a creator and the supreme being. There were no churches, there were no temples, no places to worship as everyone carried their temples with them. There were no beliefs in the spiritual world as everyone knew it existed. When you know there's no reason to believe, it's a fact. There were no sadists, no masochists, no warmongers, no troublemakers of any sort on Angel World. Angels do not have the ability of recreating themselves, but they do understand the human and animal methods of recreation, of course. And so every human, when the time comes, has a curtain of privacy that angels do not intrude upon unless they're invited to do so. In angel world, people do eat meat, but the animals that are available, each with their own basic angel, they know that their function is to merge their consciousness with the human consciousness at a certain period, and they fully accept that role. Animals are treated with respect and kindness until the time they're mercifully put to rest with their bodies creating sustenance for the highest form of consciousness, the human.
There are businesses and governments and salespeople and politicians on Angel World, but it's unique in that there's no lying. And so exaggeration takes the place of untruths and metaphors abound. But people understand this and elected officials are given leave to rule, not so much as what they promise, but their actions prior to taking office. These are just very general descriptions of angel world. If it seems like a heavenly universe, it's, it's pretty close. But there are also polarization worlds where the opposite is true. And although there are angels there as well, they're invisible to all. And in those worlds, there are wars, rumors of wars, lying, deceit, and general turmoil.